Assalamu alaikum, this is Xenomex, welcome to the video. I'm going to be unboxing and installing the Core i7-920 processor. This is an excellent processor, one of the best, it's also very fast. So, in processor boxes, usually there aren't many stuff in here. It's just a fan, a manual, and the CPU. Nothing else. There isn't any fancy packaging, just nice and basic. As you can see here, the CPU is just here. Let's just pull it out. This is the most expensive part in the whole build. It's also the smallest part. Let's just move that to here. Now I'm going to open up the fan. This will just simply slot into place. I'll be showing you how to install this now. This is the LGA1366 CPU socket. I'll be placing the i7-920 inside it. Also, just want to show you that I've made sure that I am anti-static and what that means is basically I'm earthed. I'm connected to the main socket, made sure it's switched off so if anything goes wrong it'll go straight to earth and I'm grounded and I'm safe, just simply reducing the risk. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just open this up. Okay, now it's out. And but before doing so, I'm just going to put it back here. I'm going to push that downwards. I'm going to push that to the left and now it's come out. Wow. I'm going to pull this bit out like this. Now I'm going to take this dummy here. Please, if you ever do a build, do not lose this. This is very, very, very important. If anything goes wrong with your motherboard and you ever have to return it, this has to be inside it. So, strongly, strongly recommend you keep this in a very, very secure place. So, now I'm going to go and say Bismillah. Luckily, the CPU only goes in one direction, right? You don't have to use force. If you can see this triangle here, this golden triangle, it, it's at, at the top corner. Now, all I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure this is at this side here, where there's this rod. So, I'm say Bismillah. Drop that in. See, I've used no force whatsoever. That's tightly secured. There's only one way this can go. Then I'm going to just slot this back in like that. I'm going to go down like this. You may feel like you're applying quite a lot of pressure, but that's just the way it's done. That's scary enough. It feels like I'm going to stop it. Okay, now that is nice and secure. The reason why it has to be really tight is because you need to make sure that this is in full contact with the motherboard at all times. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make sure that the wire, the connector, which I'm just going to be taking out now, here we go, is going to be close to the, to the fan socket here, so. So it's very, very close. See? It just fits in nice and easy. Um, if I can just zoom in here, I'm going to show you that this plugs in here. I'm sure you can see that clearly. Uh, it says next to it, CPU fan. Once again, idiot proof, hopefully. So I'm gonna, read. What I'm going to do, I'm going to push these down in a diagonal way. So I'm going to save some name. I'm going to this is down, this is down, this is down, that's down. Until all the com now that all now this is fully secured. It's very simple. If you want to deattach it, all you have to do is twist these. I'm not going to be doing that now. Now I'm just going to plug this in, and as you can see, it only goes in one way. Now it's plugged in. Everything is fine. That was a simple installation of the i7 Intel Core 920. Now you may have noticed that I've not applied any thermal paste. Why? Because this fan comes with thermal paste already attached to it. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, remember to check out the other parts of this build. Make sure you've subscribed to my channel. See you later.